So this is the new home, as seen from this side. There's a fence, there's a hedge, a bunch of rose bushes. I am now looking across the street where there's a truck in the way, but you can see signs of the Iron Horse Trail, and there's a daycare center of some kind with a fence around it, and a sports park to the left. This is the house itself. There are interesting gardens. There's a fountain We're right on a corner here. You can see the fence that goes around the side of the house. It's about a two-car garage. And you can see some more of the plants in the garden. Wouldn't be able to grow some of these bad boys up in Wisconsin. Now we're going up to the front. It's close to the fountain. this for now. Let's see how we do that. Okay, so I, I'm inside the house. Uh, that's the front, that's Mr. Chow. <laughs> hello. <laughs> he says hello. So this is the family area. It's got a nice bay window. It comes right off of the front door, which you can see there. I'm going to do a sort of a look around and there's the stairs. So I'm going to walk over to the area that's set up as a dining area. You can see it's got carpeting and a nice view of the backyard. And we'll do a little bit of walking around out there and you can see the fruit trees up close if you like. Um, now going into the kitchen area. We've got a sliding door here. You can see that if we ever want to have noisy cooking in here and noisy parting out there, we can keep it apart. So. There's the refrigerator and a, like a little pantry, some, <laughs> some uh, a regular oven and a microwave oven with cabinets, you can see. There's a, an island counter that you can see and it's got uh, storage on one side and it's got uh, an outlet on that side. Now I'm going over to the other counter where you can see Stovetop burners, the gas burners. We have white tile counter. There's a dishwasher. There is a garbage disposal in the sink. And a hot water dispenser right there. Boiling hot, according to the sign, so be careful. And a little garden window where plants can go and another great view of the outside. I've got a, a casual family area right here. There's a like a little breakfast nook thing and then probably where the TV would go and the fireplace. Kind of like what we have at home. And there's a wet bar. Hi everybody. Uh, oh, look at that. I can put stuff on the top shelf just like in the real bars. So that is the family area. If you have any questions, just shout them out right now. So... <laughs> Sorry. So here's a, a, a closet under the stairs. Oops. There's the laundry room. Here's the first floor bath and the first floor bedroom, which could be a bedroom or, or an office. And um, going upstairs now. There's the front door again, so you kind of know where we're at. Up here at the top of the stairs, we have a nice storage area for linens and sheets and all kinds of good stuff. Master bedroom with a kind of nice view of the outdoors and there's a huge walk-in closet over here. You could use it for other storage too. Walking over here there's a smaller area that could be used for linens but more cabinets over here. Another bedroom or office or sewing room with windows that look out towards the front. So you can see from here uh, maybe a better view of that sports park or maybe not. I don't know. So there's a daycare center. There's the sports park area right next to it. Both bedrooms have got closets so it's pretty nice. This is the upstairs shared bath. Hey everybody. It's got a kind of a 
classic look sink and the usual kinds of accoutrements for shower, a window. Now we're going to go for a little trip outside to the back. <laughs> you won't be on. <laughs> is this door open? No, not yet. yet. Okay. Black, black oh, other. Oh, that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is the back porch, and you can see that there's a uh, a wooden structure of some kind on the patio. There's I'm going to go over to which would be the north side of the house. And you can see there's a, a gate to get in. And it's actually a double wide gate, so if anyone wanted to store a boat back here, that could probably happen. Um, the fence that you see is actually the side of a shack because the fence is actually like a huge storage area. So uh, you can store all kinds of stuff out here if you want to. In the backyard, we have fruit trees, it turns out. We've got a nice rose bush in the corner. And the tree that's next to it is some kind of citrus. When you look at it closely, you'll see what could be, I don't know if those are young limes or young lemons. Um, not sure what kind of fruit tree that is, but I'm sure that it is a fruit tree. Uh, same thing here. And on this tree, you can actually see some things that to an uneducated northerner like myself look like small limes. I don't know if they are limes and I don't know if they are edible, but it's some kind of fruit tree. Now I think I should know what these are. They might be kumquats. I don't know if you can see that. But yes, more fruit trees. More interesting succulents, all in a nice garden. A um, little bit of moan back here, but actually not that bad. This is the other side of the house, so this is the, oops, wait a second, let me think about this. So the side of the house that I said was the north side is actually the, oh no, what direction am I facing now? got to think about this. So the direction we're facing right now is east, so if I said north before, that was the north side. This is the south side of the house, where it's basically a utility area. There's usual garbage stuff, air conditioning. Um, pickaxe, and uh, I think that is about it. I'm going to step out so that you can see what the back of the house looks like. Oh, by the way, uh, the wooden structure has got fluorescent tubes built into it, so this place is all lit up with fluorescent lighting at night, so that's kind of cool. And now, I can't tell. If you can see this or not, yes you can. Okay, so this is what the outside of the house looks like from the backyard. How about that view? Wow. I don't know what it looks like to you, but that's pretty impressive to me. We've got mountains in our front yard. Okay, truthfully, they're a little bit outside our front yard. Maybe even a couple miles away, but still pretty cool. Uh, that is it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the show. I'll probably be editing this. If I don't, you're going to get stuck with all these cheesy comments. Talk to you later. Bye. With the C. Wow. That one. That big one? That, or that one. This one. This one. Okay. And he's already started giving fruits. Wow. Holy Some smokes. people told me you are have to wait all your life and never going to give you fruit. And this is a regular lemon? That's, uh, no, this is a sweet lemon That's a too. sweet lemon, okay. Okay, and that grow almost like an orange. Wow. Okay, but have to fertilize it right. Okay, okay. Okay. What kind of fertilizer do you recommend? Uh, you Miracle just green? can use any citrus uh, fertilizer. Okay. And only in April, just need to apply the fertilizer 16, 16, 16. Okay. In that way, it will wow. become more sweet. Okay. Same thing with the orange. So the garden stores here, they have citrus fertilizer. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, miracle fertilizer. That's good <laughs> enough. 
and they I do use everything. the stacks. So I put it okay. normally four stacks to each one. Okay. So let me bring this from the top. So the first that tree. Is the regular reg sour lemon. Sour lemon. Yes, and uh, over okay. there you can see I still have one of them. Uh, somewhere around there. Oh, because I can I, smell it. That's really nice. Yes. Okay, so. Oh, right yeah, here. here's here's a little one. And right here is another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Nice and big. Okay. Yeah. This, you can see, this is the one I plan to try, uh, take it with me. Okay. Okay, this have only about three years. This ah. one has six years. Wow. Okay, and you can see it's starting giving fruits too. Yeah. I didn't realize they had thorns on them. That's a... Yeah, and these are the orange, a lot of orange. How long... What what time do the when what time of year do the oranges normally get ripe enough to eat? July or August? Uh, this tree for some reason is being given me twice a year. Wow. So has okay, is this the second? So about end of July, August, you can see already they are getting about this big. Wow. That is so heavy that I have to tie the tree and some. And even put a sun tax in there with wood to hold it up. That's I see that. The oh, yeah. Personal too. How often do you have to water a fruit tree? Every day? Automatically. Oh, automatically. Automatically. Wow. You have to sprinkle. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I have six stations, and basically, I only put it about eight minutes. Okay. All right. Every day, eight minutes. Eight, eight minutes every day. Okay. In summer. Okay, yeah. Uh, spring is only every other day. Ah. Winter, beginning of December. Stop it. Stop it. So Until March is... February, March, except for hot days, I have to turn it on. Monday. Okay. I'm glad I'm recording all this, because I would never remember that. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, my yard is simple. It's yeah. Not that fancy. I, I like simple yards. Okay. You know, because you and I, we have to mow it. Yeah. No, I have a lady who come to do it for us. And oh, she does. charging only $60 a month. Wow. And needs to do it twice a month. Okay. Or whenever it's necessary. Does she when also... Her, Landscaping needs to do it. She's coming here too. Does she also do the edges around the sidewalk? Everything. Wow. Inside, outside. If, if you wouldn't mind sharing with me her contact information, I might like sure. to talk to her about sure. that. She come every Saturday, every other Saturday. Okay. okay. Wow. Unless I require something extra, I just call her and she just... Okay. Up. Fantastic. Wow. Right. And this is the avocado? That's the avocado. So far, never give me fruit yet. Not yet. Soon. Okay. <laughs> and these are already the persimmons. Wow. So that's the persimmon. Okay. Yes. That's why if I don't put these, it will become too heavy. Yeah. Well, those are big fruit. I want to get juice yeah, in them. Yeah, they're coming about this. Right. Okay. That is another avocado, but that died. Oh, all right. And. So far, I never can put any plant in this corner because of the crosswind. Oh, wow. Interesting. So when you planted that, did you just do a, an avocado seed or did you do no, an avocado? No, no. This I bought the from, plant. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Good to know. <laughs>